Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to slow down your high frame rate video in DaVinci Resolve down to 24 frames per second uh, to give that super cool, super slow motion kind of effect. Um, if you've got a GoPro or a camera that shoots at a high frame rate, this is a really cool way to make your footage look absolutely epic. I've got some footage here that I shot out at a skateboard event uh, not that long ago. Uh, and it sort of features a of a skateboarder and he's coming into a bowl. Uh, this is completely unedited. I'm going to crop out what the part that I don't want. Uh, but as you can see, if I scrub through it, he is going to come up and do a little front side air and go back down into the bowl. So what I want to do is I want to crop out just the good parts. Uh, so say as he's entering the bowl, I'm going to set my little markers in. And I'm going to scrub through to where he goes back and just kind of there, right about there. All right. Uh, this video is going to be part of a larger compilation video. So but this just for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to change the frame rates and stuff. So, so once I've got that, I'm going to go up here back to the thumbnail. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go down to click or clip attributes. It's going to bring up this little box here. Make sure the video is selected there. And here it's going to basically be custom because in this version of DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't recognize 120 frames per second. So it just calls it custom. This video was shot at 120 frames per second. So in this drop down menu, I'm going to change the clip down to 24 frames per second. And I'm going to click OK. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to do, what's going to happen then, instead of if I played this back at normal speed, it would just be normal speed, right? But now if I drop this, I just want the, the video. I don't want any of the audio. If I drop this down into my uh, timeline, it's going to play at 24 frames per second. So super slow-mo, right? That's how you change 120 frames or 60 frames or anything down to uh, 24 frames per second. You just go up to this again, click clip attributes, change that video frame rate down to 24 from whatever it is set before. Maybe you shot some stuff at 60 frames per second. Doesn't matter. 30 frames per second. Doesn't matter. You can change that down to 24 and it'll be fine. So once you do that and then you drag it into your timeline, it's now at 24 frames per second, right? So if I play it back again, it's playing back at 24 frames per second. But what I want to do with this clip is I want to kind of do a bit of a speed ramp. Right, so I want him to come in at normal speed, and I want him to I want to slow down this part, and then back to normal speed. What you want to do is go down to your timeline, Control R, right, and it'll show you what speed it's playing at at 100%. Right now, 120 frames per second. Like I say, if you have 60 frames per second and you want to drop it down to 30 frames per second, then that's 60 frames is double 30. So you would want to change that down to 200%. Right. So right now it's playing at 24 frames per second, but what I want to do is I want to bring this front portion of the video back up to regular speed. So if I do the math, 60 frames per second uh, drop down to 24 frames per second is going to be about 210%. I want to change that down to 210%, right? <clears throat> so 120 frames per second down to 24 frames per second, and I've done the math before, it's about, some people say 500%. Uh, I find that what that does is it makes the speed a little bit too quick and I kind of want it, it makes it a little bit too unnatural looking. So I usually bring mine down to about 480%. So 120 frames per second down to regular speed, you want to change this number down to uh, about 480%. So you just kind of find somewhere on your, your uh, timeline clip here and you want to grab it and click it and it's somewhere in this top blue portion sometimes it just shortens the video sometimes it grabs the time so you kind of have to play around with it so you want to drag that all the way down to 400 and let me move that out of the way there so i'm snapping on it's so 481 sure i'm gonna make that a little bit longer so again you want to find the spot on your clip once it kind of does its little pre-render there. Oops, go back here. So you want to, so right now it's basically playing at regular speed, right? But I want to find the spot where he launches. And I'll do it right at 
about there. Yeah. And then you go down to this little arrow here, add a speed point, arrow forward, I should say. And this is all going to be the slow motion portion and right about there. And you want to add another speed point. And then what you want to do is change this part to 100%, right? So you can just click on the little arrow there, change speed 100%. Now this section here is 100%. So it's going to go from fast to slow back to fast. But it's going to be a really abrupt change in between these two points here, right? So then what you can do is you can right click on your, your, your clip, retime curve is what you want to bring up, and it'll bring up this little box here, and this is where the ramp is. You see this thing here? So it goes fast, slow, fast, back up to fast. So what you want to do is you want to click on, just click on these little dots here, go up to this thingy here, it sort of shows a little bit of a curve there. Click on that, and it'll bring up these two these tabs, essentially, this little bar. What you want to do is you want to... Right now, it's a really slow ramp, so it'll go fast and slow. But I want it to be a little bit more abrupt. So I want to click on that thing and just drag it over to kind of make it a little bit more abrupt, but not, like, super sharp-edged. So do the same thing on that one. Click on it, bring that up. Click on that arm there. Right, and because I'm using the free version of uh, DaVinci Resolve, it doesn't take any advantage of my GPU. So when I play this back, it's really jittery and jittery. But I found that if you go over into the color tab or the color grading tab, it'll play back smoothly <laughs> for some strange reason. So you click on that. Oh, and he's super slow, and then back into the ball. Right, and this will just loop very fast, slow back into the ball. And this is a good way to kind of preview it, other than in the actual timeline, the edited timeline. I find the color tab, color grading tab, plays it back really smoothly right from the get-go, so which is kind of cool. Anyway, a little bit of a tip there. So then you go back into the edit, and I think we're all done. And then from there, what you can do is you can just uh, export it, click on your little rocket tab at the bottom there to export it, and we're just going to give it a 120 slow mo sample sample uh, find a location to put it in let's see here let's just put it on the old desktop save and we're gonna do i usually do quicktime h264 1920 by 1080 i shot this at 2.7k in case i wanted to crop in or anything but anyway i usually export for 1020 by uh, or 1920 by 1080 24 frames per second you want to make sure that I usually just leave it all quality best and coding profile auto um, don't really play around with the advanced settings too much uh, I use the auto encoder and add to render queue and render all and it'll do its little thing this clip shouldn't take very long and then we'll just uh, once that's done open up me finder Find the clip on the desktop there. 120. Play back. And that's about it for this tutorial. Hope that uh, adds some insight into your slow mo footage. It's super easy to do. Um, you can watch this over and over again if I went too fast, but. Uh, Super easy to turn your 120 frame or 60 frames per second uh, clips into sl epic slow motion stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks. Bye.